Contributed to Rural Healthy People 2030 by writing a chapter on rural economic stability in a collaboration with our former MPH student and our current PhD student in health services research, Brad Wayne. The main thing that stood out to me when I was researching this topic is while we believe that residents of inner cities have been historically affected by economic instability, rural residents have not really been exempt at all from struggles to access nutritious food, housing, educational opportunities, employment opportunities, which potentially leads to them also suffering from lower incomes, which is, again, I think the thing that I really expected urban residents, especially those residing in inner cities, to be affected by more than the rural residents. Some of the biggest issues with respect to things that could improve uh, rural individuals' economic stability could definitely be a more universal access to broadband internet. Again, access to high-speed internet can allow uh, rural school children to get access to more online educational opportunities. It could allow rural residents to have access to online training and online employment opportunities all of these benefits that a lot of the suburban and urban individuals are enjoying as a result of some of the changes to how we treat employees now after COVID. So I think the number one practical thing that could really help rural communities thrive in five to six years would be a better access to high-speed internet, especially in some of those very remote areas of our rural states.